Hey, what up? This is Eddie 4 and today we'll learn how to set up our now playing alert and a stylish look into your live stream for Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or any other broadcasting platform. This feature has gone a long way. As a matter of fact, the tool we're going to be using today is Pixel Chat. And for more details on this tool, you can go ahead and check it out at pixelchat.tv. AC Pixel developed this for Mixer a couple of years ago, but he had to transition into other platforms what makes her die. Anyways, good thing that this is actually kept updated. I previously published a video on how to add your Spotify now playing message into your stream. Well, this is kind of the updated version since Pixel Chat has changed a bit. Now, there's a subscription option named Pixel Pro, which has tons of features, overlays, pro overlays, bio page, scenes, custom sounds, Spotify mode integration, and custom fonts. Now this video is not sponsored by Pixel Chat in any way, shape, or form, but I believe this is a good product and it's well made. So now let's just talk about adding the now playing full display in your stream. So a viewer in the community stated that this feature is now a paid functionality. So I had to double check the that. Now, as you know, here at Edio4TV, we like to make tech easy and we thoroughly test out all the solutions that we share. So we dived in again, and I just want to point out that this solution is still free, but it will require additional stuff. Relax, I got you covered. We'll learn step-by-step step how to set this up to get it working. So as soon as we get to pixelchat.tv, we'll log in using our platform login. I strongly recommend using Twitch login, which will only be requested once for access. So we'll start in the home module and we'll want to go to the overlay section. So when we're in the overlay section, we want to go to the upper right corner and click on create new overlay. Now it's going to show us a list of different overlay options and we'll look for the now playing option. After the overlay is added, we need to edit the settings to connect to a few tools to make it work. Now we'll be using Pixel Chat, Last.fm, and Spotify. I've added all the links to these tools in the description below. So now we're going to go ahead and edit this overlay. So the first option here is the overlay title. Now this is just the name of the current overlay. It's named now playing as default, but you can call it something specific as well as the description, you can change it to whatever you want it to be. So for now, we're gonna call it Now Playing Tutorial. Now, I wanna take this moment to clarify, this can work with other audio solutions, such as YouTube, Apple Music, Windows Media Player, Winamp, and a whole bunch of other uh, solutions there. But we'll keep it simple with just using Spotify for today. Let me know in the comments below if you would like more video tutorials for other audio platforms. Now, you're gonna go ahead and skip the style, the other, and the customize section for now, since those would only make sense after we have connected our audio solution. Now, there is two ways of setting this up. As mentioned before, Pixel Pro or Pixel Chat Pro, it's easy, just link your Spotify account to Pixel Chat and enable Spotify mode. Now, the other way is actually to use the last FM scrubbler. And Last.fm Scrabble is just a tool that allows you to track music player usage and then synchronize it to Last.fm. Now have in mind, Pixel Chat Pro does have a subscription business model, which means that you would have to pay for Pixel Chat Pro. But I want to teach you how to do this on the free version. That's right! So the first thing we need to do is sign up for free to Last.fm. And once you have made an account, it will automatically take you to the setting page. Once you have made an account, it will automatically take you to the setting page. Now, the next step is just connect Spotify scrolling by clicking on the connect button. Pretty much, it's just the big red button right here. And that's it. Now let's go back to Pixel Chat Overlay and finish tweaking. Now I've noticed that it takes a while for Last.fm and Spotify to synchronize smoothly, but after a couple of playbacks, it will work as expected. 
So at the bottom under account, type in the last FM username. So now we're going to go back up into the other section and let's get this working. I recommend for testing purposes, enable stay open all the time and the preview will show up as a sample song. So now let's go to the style section and we're going to tweak a little bit the visuals. There's also shadow opacity and corner radius for the overlay image, which pretty much is just changing the opacity of the shadow that's going to be around this image or changing the round corners for the image itself. Now, before we jump over into OBS Studio, I want to show you how this works by playing a song on Spotify. Okay, so now we are still in Pixel Chat, and the only thing we need to do to take this over to OBS Studio is click in an open overlay in a new tab. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and click on the browser address bar and copy that address. And we're going to load OBS Studio. Scene number five, we're going to go ahead and create a new browser source. You can call it whatever you want it to be. Music overlay. Just paste the URL. Don't need to change the width, don't need to change the height, just go ahead and click on OK. Now showcase your music on stream with this now playing overlay. Hope you liked the video, and if you did, please smash the like button with a fierce. It definitely helps the channel. Also, for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I release a brand new video. This is Ennio Ford, see you on the next one.